Welcome to Soundbridge Music's Featured Artist Interview. In this series, we get to know front range artists who not only shape the local music scene, but who joined with Soundbridge Music in its mission to use the power of music to improve the lives of individuals and bring communities together. We're so excited to be here today with Carly and Laura from Foxfeather. Foxfeather is a sultry alt-Americana band based in the front range of Colorado. Rooster Magazine describes their music as time warping. It's an emotional ride into the forest of folk with low-hanging country branches slapping you in the face without apology. It's got a good thing going. We are here at Wind Over the Earth Studio in Longmont, Colorado with Carly and Laura of Foxfeather. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Hello. It's going wonderfully, thank you. Good, good. Thanks for having yeah. us. Absolutely. Thanks for doing it. Um, so let's start at the beginning. When did you guys meet and uh, when did you start playing music together and how did Fox Feather become a thing? That is the beginning. That is the beginning. Wow. The beginning. Really good question. The beginning. We're covering the whole scope of it. It's yeah. going to be a five hour interview. <laughs> I, <laughs> right, I love right. it. Well, it's been many years. Yeah. Actually, we met. Um, we met when Laura moved to Telluride. Yep. Telluride, um, senior year of high school. And so that. We don't have to say how long ago it was. <laughs> it was a while ago, but yeah, it was senior year of high school, um, and then we both went to CU Boulder, mm -hmm. where um, we lived in the same dorm building, and that's really when we became really good friends. Mm -hmm. Was in college, mm -hmm. yeah, and then um, and then yeah, shortly after, I guess like freshman year, we kind of started like playing music together, but just covers. Mm -hmm. And going to open mic nights and um, lots of Bob Marley. There was a lot of Bob Ooh. Marley. No cry. Yep. Yeah. No woman, no cry. Carly did the rap part. I did. I used to do the, the rap version. Rap part I don't remember it anymore. Version. I can't do it. Yeah. But okay. of the Lauren Hill, yeah, she's all. Bunka, bunka, bunka. I I. But it was weird. I. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. I don't think I should have done it, but I did. When you're first starting out and doing cover songs, though, you have to do the things that you regret. Right. Oh you're right. man. I put out yeah. a cover of uh, Flo Rider's Low on a piece of guitar. We, I'm going to have to hear that soon. Where? <laughs> so Where? moving on. <laughs> I need to see that. Yeah. So when did you start writing music together? So it was our the, the summer after our freshman year. And we were back in Telluride visiting home because that's where we went to high school. And um, and I had written a song and I sang it to Laura. We were driving. I remember it perfectly. Mm -hmm. We were driving um, from you know from that little from where the roundabout yep. is now. There wasn't a roundabout then, mm -hmm. but into town. And I was like, Hey, I have a. I I think I wrote a song. She was like, Oh, cool. And I was like, You want me to sing it for you? And I did. And she was like. Great. I hate the melody. It's awful. I didn't oh say that. Like, she didn't know. say it like that, but that's uh -huh. what it sounded like in my little ears. But she was like, but the words are amazing. I love it. Let's do it. And then, so we, we fixed the melody. I mean, I didn't... Well, I there, was no, there were no chords. Yeah. There, you know, yeah. there was no... There was, I just wrote the yeah. words, and then I was like, I think it might sound something like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go win a <laughs> And then, yeah, so we added chords to it. And that was our first song, and we called it Something Good. So that um, people could, when people say, "What do you want? To, what should I put on?" And something then good. someone always says something good. good. And so we thought, when that song made it big, they would put it on. <laughs> Very clever. Oh, that is so clever. Right. Yeah. My gosh, and that's such a good way to start a working collaboration with that kind of honesty. Yeah. Oh I yes, guess. all the honesty. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I didn't say I hated it. You didn't. No. You I, said, I must... I'm not sure about the melody. That is probably what I said. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Which was a start of a, yeah, the way that our process still works now is, you know, it we do write the songs together. And so, mm -hmm. you know, there it kind of takes us being in the room together to, to create a melody and add the lyrics and the music and mm -hmm. the harmonies and everything. So... Well, we talk so know. many things through mm -hmm. where it's like, oh, that little chord. Why don't you try and go to this chord? I yeah. usually sing it because I'm not playing an instrument. So I'm like, yeah. go to the one that goes, ah. And mm -hmm. she's like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but no, you do. You figure it. We, we, we figure it out. So, yeah. Um, yeah. But there has to be honesty and, and uh, open-mindedness. Yeah, that seems huge. So the collaboration process is still the same as it was in the beginning? Is it all like 100%? Oh, uh, it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, we lived together. 
So like in the upstairs of this house, and it was this tiny upstairs with just a bedroom and a little bathroom in between and then another bedroom. Mm -hmm. So we were like just four feet away from each other at all times. <laughs> and, uh, and so that was easier, you know, we could just, we would just go and do it. Yeah. And it's changed a lot, in, you know, in the last few years, we have to, we schedule it and we, we make time for it. And, but yeah. it is, it's, and, and we've gotten better at the communication and better at the, but, but yeah, we still co-write all of our songs. Great. So. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. And one of those songs, you just released a song this week, Monday. or the last week, whenever this is coming out. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Today. Today no. it came out. <laughs> a year ago. No. Uh, uh, yeah. And it's called <clears throat> The Rules, mm -hmm. and there's a super powerful music video, and the song's on Spotify and everywhere. Um, tell us just about first where the song came from and how it developed into such a powerful thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, we're like, um, that song, um, so there's, there's some songs that like the process for us is like, it'll take like a year and a half to finish a song, mm -hmm. you know, where it's like, there's something here and I want to keep working on it. And then like, and it's hard and we have to force ourselves. And then some songs like this one, <laughs> they just, yeah. which I think is a lot, like there is so much boiling up in us, you know, just what's going on in the world and what has been going on in the world and, you know, it, it's um, just a, a lot about, um, yeah, empowering women and um, in that situation. Thank you. So that song just really was, the time was right, and we had a lot of feelings, and it just kind of came out in one sitting. We were on our way back from a duo tour in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. We found this, like, we were, yeah, about four hours away from home, decided we needed to, like, stop and get some dinner. We found a margarita place, as Carly calls margarita it. Margarita place. And That's a hotel right that. next to it. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So yeah, we went into this uh, hotel room, just kind of came out came out in yeah. one sitting and we were like I feel like that was good we're like mm -hmm. yeah that was pretty mm -hmm. that was all right turned on Sex in the City went to bed <laughs> drank <laughs> on the next day and then we were like I was that was a pretty good, good song yeah. yeah yeah and uh yeah and it it, it 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 was it just sort of like <sighs> Laura started playing the chords and I was like I know the words to this and then I just started writing them down and mm -hmm. um and uh and then when we brought it to the band, they were awesome, and mm -hmm. and they just they loved it. You know, we do we do as much of the arranging as we can, or arrangement as we can in our session, but um, or in our sessions, but um, but then they really help us. Like the band, yeah. really, they they put the gloss on it all. So uh, we brought it to them, and 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 it was cool. And uh, one of us, somebody had an idea <clears throat> to. Uh, to start it, we were gonna premiere it pretty quickly. We were like, I think it's done, let's just get it out there. So we, we actually premiered it live a month after we wrote it, which is very rare. Oh, wow. Um, and uh, and we, um, somebody had the idea that we should start with just the two of us, and mm -hmm. it ended up being the three of us, because Kate Farmer was with oh, us, and she sang on the track as well, and she, she sings a lot with us, so mm -hmm. we love her. Um, but yeah, we were like, maybe we should just do the ladies. And so the guys, when we play it live, the men, like, they leave the stage oh, until cool. that big part, and then they just slowly walk back on and come in for, like, that big crescendo if you yeah. listen to the song, and you know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. And, uh, yeah, it's really cool, so. The way you produce it is so good, and especially, like, the recording that starts out just your voice. It's yeah, just that's Jay, Jay Elliott. So well. He actually plays drums on it, too. He plays okay. drums with us, but he, um... He's been our engineer for multiple projects, but mm -hmm. this was the first time he was the sole producer for a song. So he produced and engineered it for us and, and worked really hard to get it mastered exactly how he wanted it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. yeah, and he played amazing drums. He's great. Jay Elliott. It's, it's his baby as much as ours. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. huge. It's, yeah. And talk a bit about the video. Um, the video that came out with it, and it features a lot of women and it's just really mm -hmm. powerful. How did the concept come about? Yeah, we so we um, for our last video for Come and Get Me, we worked mm -hmm. with um, Creation Films or Creation Media, and uh, <clears throat> we loved them. Mm -hmm. And so we uh, uh, we asked to work with them again. We contacted Jason mm -hmm. and uh, 
and ha set up a little meeting. And we had a lot of, I think Laura and I had, we, we talk a lot, we bounce ideas off of each other all the time. And so we had a lot of sort of visuals that we wanted, but we weren't exactly sure how to put it all together. We just, we knew we wanted to be in nature. I kept seeing like, like, you know, the big, like the tall shot, which Jason was like, oh yeah, I have a drone. And I was like, yes. I have a drone. <laughs> um, and then, and then, you know, we were, we knew we wanted to do the hands and all mm. bunch of women. Yeah. Um, women of different ages. That was a big mm -hmm. thing of uh -huh. like, yeah. 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 It's Cause it's just, it's generational. Yeah. Right? Little girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then, and then he just, he directed it and just, I mean, mm. we, we asked some people to come up and be extras. Uh, we put out like a little Facebook call and we're like, who wants to be in this video? And a bunch of ladies showed up and we got the shots and he, he kind of threw together the sequential part of it, you know? Okay. Um, yeah. If he's incredible. So yeah. He we love really working with him. love working with him. Um, so, um, and he's, he's getting real big. <laughs> Yeah, real. Yeah. He is. No, he's, he's, awesome. uh, he's he's been doing some real really big. Cool stuff too, so. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, but that's kind of what happened. You know, we mm -hmm. went up to Gold Hill and scouted out some spots and invited some people, and then we went up there for a whole day and just did it. And it was freezing cold. Oh, <laughs> that's always fun. Uh, it was real cold, but um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're hey. happy with this. Mm -hmm. oh, that's awesome. Well, make sure to go check it out on the YouTube and the Spotify and all the places. Yes. Let's talk a bit about your band. Seeing you guys put together a band and bring it up from the ground has been really impressive. Um, talk a bit about kind of your approach to like finding the right players and uh, and finding people who serve your songs and, and how you got to, to be the band you are today. Yeah. Um, well, we, we've had several lineup changes mm -hmm. um and i think just the biggest thing is like having people that that want to be there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know just to yeah to be really honest like having people that believe in it and um and are excited and that's why we really are super happy with our band now you know we get like our energies really feed off of each other and when you're making mm -hmm. music with people that are proud and happy to be there and excited and motivated and, motivated and you know that that fuels us to keep working hard and writing more songs and having them involved so yeah. um yeah we're really we're really stoked about this lineup and these guys are awesome and, and we yeah. love them and yeah they, yeah they add so much yeah. and it's taken a long time to find the right people you know we went mm -hmm. through like you said we went through so many iterations and nothing, you know, bad to say about those other groups, mm -hmm. but this one, I think, feels just especially right. And I think part of that is <clears throat> that in between you and I, uh, you know, when you, it's sort of like breaking up with someone and finding a lot, a lot of independence in yourself. It's like yeah. every time that happens, you build yourself up a little bit more and then, and then you, and so when, when things haven't worked out, we've just really leaned into the identity of Foxfeather as the two of us. And mm -hmm. as long as we're continuing to do this, like, we don't need this other thing, mm -hmm. but we want it. Yeah. And so it's, uh, um, it's really cool. And I feel like we've just, we've, we're so fortunate to have the guys that we play with. I love them all so much. Yeah. I love you guys. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> So, yeah, exactly, <laughs> oh, like that. Oh, so cool. uh, man. So, uh, when someone goes to a Fox Feather concert, mm -hmm. what do you want them to be feeling when they're, when they're walking out of that concert? Ooh. What a question. Um, oh, man. I mean, I guess I want them to feel emboldened, mm. you know, sort of brought up and connected with, you know, I, I, I think I like to try and communicate with people. I, when we write, you know, the lyrics, I, I really try and make it so that people can, um, can s turn it and fit it to their life a little. Like there are details in it that might not fit, but they can get the overall emotion and, and, and understand it in themselves. Yeah. And so I hope that they can see that 
you know, feel the pain or the or the love or the the greatness, and then and then walk away feeling just a little bit stronger about um, themselves and like and know that they're not alone. So that's what. <laughs> so that's what I hope. <laughs> I, would agree. I would agree with that. Yeah. Um, I I think that uh, yeah. <clears throat> Being able to <laughs> to listen to a song when I when I think about like shows that I've seen and um, yeah when I can relate to myself or to another person that I know that's close to me mm -hmm. and I guess just like I want people to feel deeply anything yeah. I guess you know whether it's like it's unlikely that they're gonna <laughs> walk away from our shows feeling like really really happy happy <laughs> that's awesome um, but like. You know, I, I want people to, to sit with what we're saying because it's it's a lot of truth and it and yeah. it's not always like yeah happy, yeah. Um, optimistic things, but it is a lot of empowerment and it is yeah. a lot of just realness and truth and there's some heartbreak and um, just to I think if you can make anyone feel anything, mm -hmm. that's yeah that's a goal yeah. in songwriting. Yeah, yeah, totally. In music. Yeah. Well, in like. Happiness is wonderful, but I think honesty in life is that mm -hmm. you can feel fulfilled, you can feel happy, but there's a lot of there's a lot of shit and and so I probably shouldn't curse on this. There's a lot <laughs> I was like, oh, oh shit. Um no, uh but Early there's a lot day. of um <clears throat> You know, there's a lot of pain that goes into feeling good about yourself. There's a lot of pain that goes into feeling happy and fulfilled. And it, mm -hmm. I like to, you know, try to, I think, well, we like to try and and um, exalt that a little bit, you yeah. know, and just be like, look, you went through this and now you can have this, you know, mm -hmm. and you deserve to feel great. But like, that doesn't mean that your pain isn't a part of, of your journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you guys do a really good job of of doing that in live shows and and in your music. It's yeah, Thanks. it's really yeah, really powerful. Thanks. Um, oh man, it's been really fun to watch you guys throughout the years. Um, see, because you guys played the bars, you did the duo thing, and like you recorded the EP, and then you kept like consistently improving your songs and like playing bigger venues and and just like getting to the next level. Um, what would your advice be for other people who are trying to do that? My two biggest things are <laughs> stick with it. Mm -hmm. The universe is not telling you not to do it. It's just challenging you because mm -hmm. there's been many times that we've been like, is the universe telling us to just stop? No, it's just challenging you and learn how to say no when you need to. Mm -hmm. Those are my two biggest things, I think. Mm -hmm. That's good. What about you? Oh, my turn. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm like, what are you <laughs> um, Yeah, definitely what Carly said. Like the um, work hard. You know, mm -hmm. it's n never not going to be hard work. Mm -hmm. And believe in like your identity. Know who you are, and know what you are trying to um, deliver to the world. Mm -hmm. You know, I think yeah, like having that strong identity, which maybe takes time. And mm -hmm. so you know. Take time to figure that out, yeah. and um, you know, just just take it seriously. It's an art form, and it's also if it's what you really want to do, just you know, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Respond to emails. Oh, <laughs> that is such you know, good advice. just be <laughs> one word. Just just no. Yeah, no. just be. Yes. A little, <laughs> treat treat it like a treat it like your job. Yeah. You know, yeah. because it is and. We're lucky if we are musicians that we get to have this be our job. And so just take it seriously yeah, and have fun. And, and also have fun. Not too seriously. And still be weird. Yeah. And still be weird. Be yourself. Yeah. Be or be yourself. If you're not weird, be normal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be, authentic. be authentic. Yeah. yeah. People see good. through that. In all, like they see, they see through it if you're yeah. just faking it. So yeah. So, anyways, that's, a bit more. Nice. Oh, that's great. And what are your plans for twenty twenty? And the future? Just what? <gasps> where? Where is Fox Feather going? I mean, 
Where aren't we going? No. <laughs> <laughs> we just got a new van, so yeah, we're going. Wait, we're, yeah, oh, we did. Yeah. We did just get a new, new van. van. Right. It's Let's beautiful. have a van conversation first. Okay. okay. All right. Right. I know. I was going to say, plans. the last interview we did with you, we were talking oh, about yes. other vans. Oh. We haven't actually even announced this to the world yet. We haven't. Oh, gosh. It's are, okay if are, you're not ready to talk about no, it. No, it's okay. This we is are. a Sound Bitch exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. So the old van. Our Our Barb. Our Barb. She, she unfortunately, uh, left the world. She went up to the heavy side layer. She went to the what? It's a cat's reference. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's all cats. I'm all Phantom of the Opera. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, she, uh, she, she passed away. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it was very sad and um, luckily very safe and nobody got hurt. I mean, not safe, but mm -hmm. a thing happened. She's gone. Everyone's fine except for Barb. Mm -hmm. And, uh, um, and we upgraded. Sorry, Barb. Uh, <laughs> and got Hank. So Hank, Hank yep. Oh, what's we, Hank? Like? We had a '88 Chevy G20, and now we have a '92 Starcraft. GMC, GMC Starcraft. Starcraft rally Ooh. wagon. Uh huh. Yeah. Rally wagon. Um, lifted roof, so I can actually fit in it. <laughs> uh, more space in the back. Very uh, low mileage. Air conditioning? She, air conditioning. For now. Oh, gosh. Oh, I, yeah. know. Yeah. I know. I know. Really living in luxury. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Leather, Leather seats. seats. Leather? As, Leather. as our bass player, yeah. Mark, says, oh. the carpet on the floor is still fluffy. Oh, yeah. that seems wrong. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Uh, it won't be fluffy for long. No. <laughs> It'll take, like, one tour it's to done. be just matted and stained. But, um, There's also yeah. a TV with a VCR. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A TV with a VCR. <laughs> Do you have any VCRs? She I does. have boxes of VHS. Yeah. Yeah. Boxes. Awesome. I'm, I have weird collection things. Um, <laughs> but anyways, Hank mm -hmm. is her name, and she's beautiful. And so we're going to go on tour with her in May. Mm -hmm. And um, we're very excited. Right. And uh, we're going to be much more comfortable, even though Barb was amazing. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. We'll be going through the Midwest again. Uh, Minnesota, Michigan, Wisconsin. Um, possibly Illinois again. Yep. Yeah. We'll be in Chicago. So we're, we're still, yeah, working out that whole tour plan. But, um, so yeah, that's, yeah. that's one of our plans for 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well We're also as... going to uh, be releasing a new EP. Oh, yeah. that's exciting. Yeah, we're excited. So, um, not sure how many songs yet, but mm -hmm. um, it's looking like five or six, so a, a bigger EP, you know, some can be right. like three. Yeah. Um, and we're really excited to get new material out there. We have uh, the songs that will be on it, we've been playing live. Mm -hmm. um, we like to do that. I know some people don't do that, but we yeah. like to just get them really, you know, under our skin and in our bones before we record them. And uh, <clears throat> so that'll be coming out in 2020. Mm -hmm. And maybe, maybe we'll put it on vinyl. Oh, yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Have you guys put something on vinyl <laughs> no. before? Mm -mm. I'm You're working on it, right? I'm working, yeah, I'm working on it now. I'm trying to figure out a way to do it and, like, make it practical. Yeah. It's really impractical. I know, it's so expensive. <laughs> but it's so cool. Like, you lose money, but I think it's worth it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, and people who want to listen, people who, who love music and like listening to music mm -hmm. want vinyl. Yeah. They want vinyl, you know? Yeah. And I mean, I want vinyl. When I see vinyl, I'm like, cool. When I see a CD, I do have a CD player in my car, so, yeah. you know. But um, I want vinyl. Yeah. So. And speaking of that, what music are you guys listening to these days? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't listen to Lucy Dacus because she mm -hmm. went on, uh, she's taking 2020 off of touring to Vibe. Oh, that was a big Colorado, album for us. Colorado Sound told us that. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. Lucy no, Dacus. It's fine. She's Lucy amazing. Dacus. I'll still listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Lucy Dacus, um, Sharon Van Etten. Yep, that was a big one um, this year. Brandy Carlisle. Always. always. Oh, that yep. record. Um, always. Um, yeah. Uh, Della May. Oh, Della just May. Just discovered their um, most recent album, and that was like, I had to call Carly and was mm -hmm. like, I'm I'm re-inspired. Listen to this album. 
So that, yeah. That's Front a big Country. One. We just played mm-hmm. a show with them, right. and I was not familiar with their music. I knew mm-hmm. that a lot of people were, but I didn't know them, and now I'm like, oh my God. Yep. Her voice and the lyrics and just the stories, it's really, I really love it. Mm-hmm. And the harmonies. I'm a big vocal person. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Um, yeah, they, they crush. Yep. I'm really excited. Monocle's out playing again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We love local local acts. Yeah, so. there's so many great local records oh, that are just God. constantly coming out. I know. Yeah. Antonio Lopez just came out with an amazing yeah. record. He recorded it right here in Window Earth. In yes. this room. In this very room. I listened to, to it at the listening party uh-huh. on the floor yeah. right, right there. Here. We're you. on it, too. Oh, oh, we, we are, are. We, sing, we are. Yeah, we sang on it. <laughs> <laughs> we sang on that record. Um, Clint and Amigo, they just uh, released a single, uh, oh, Unsatisfied. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, tons of local music. And, yeah. 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 Um, mostly, I feel like I mostly, no offense to you men, but I mostly listen to women. Mm-hmm. Um, it just, it, you know, it feels like it just... Yeah. <laughs> feels... Ex- Feels good, but um, but yeah, yeah. yeah new nice. uh, on the male spectrum, the new Nathaniel Rateliff, um song is also oh, really yeah. good. Yeah, I haven't so heard that good. either. Yeah, good. Just came out this week, track. I think. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, that so, I've had a business. Also, Colorado track. music. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Colorado music's yeah. best. Yeah. I know. Oh my god, um, the Gas Pops. Mm-hmm. They're amazing. Oh yeah. Yeah, good friends of ours. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And speaking of just this local music. Um, you guys have been playing music along the front range for, for a while now, and it's really kind of shifted and changed and grown. Um, what, what have you noticed in the way the, the music scene and community here has changed in the past few years? Well, I feel like that's a hard question because mm-hmm. we've changed so much. I don't know if the music scene has changed or if we've changed. Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, are we more just a part of it and open to it? Or has it always been there? Mm-hmm. We just didn't know about it? Um, I think it's I think it's amazing around here. Uh, it's so open. It's so supportive. Mm-hmm. There's brilliant musicians. Um, I, uh, yeah, I'm like blown away by the talent in this area. And, and the support. You know, mm-hmm. it's just we all hold each other up and, and uh, you know, hope for each other's success, which mm-hmm. doesn't happen everywhere. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I would say if it's changed, it's just like it's getting closer. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I think, you know, if we're talking about Longmont in general, it's just getting, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, more yeah. more musicians coming in and getting closer and more collaboration. So that's awesome. Yeah. Winter Walkabout mm-hmm. Festival doesn't hurt that. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like no. my favorite. It's so I fun. Love it. mm-hmm. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> February 1st, you guys will be at Absolute Vinyl, right? Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. With the trio. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We're so excited. We had so much fun playing it last year, and uh, I'm excited to be a part of that, a part of it again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a cool, it's a really cool event that makes Longmont even cooler. <laughs> Such yeah. a special thing. It really is. Yeah. It really and is. Another thing you should talk about while we're here in this room at Wind Over the Earth. You and I were both on the Longmont Project. Yes. yes. We're part right here at Wind Over the Earth, mm-hmm. produced by Mark, who's mixing in the other room yep, over he there. He is. I can see him. <laughs> yeah. He's got his headphones on. He can't see us. He can't see us. <laughs> he could, but he's not looking. <gasps> he's working hard. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Serving. Yeah. Serving. yeah, that was a really cool project for a great cause. And, yeah. Um, yeah, we were stoked to be on that. Very mm-hmm. excited. Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was fun. You know, we have... We haven't recorded music at a ton of places. Yeah. I think we've been to four different studios for all of our work. Mm-hmm. And so it's always really fun to come into a new studio and see how um, a producer or an engineer works. Mm-hmm. And like, I just, I, I kind of view everything as like a learning experience. So yeah. you, you can just, like if you pay attention, you can get these little details. And working with Mark is amazing. Mm-hmm. He's, he's just so communicative. His gear is amazing. Oh, yeah. He tells you what he's hearing and uh, communicates with you really well. And mm-hmm. I love working with him. So yeah, that's yeah. fine. And that project was amazing. Yeah. I said amazing like ten times. <laughs> that's fair. All of the songs. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Listen to it. <laughs> so um, it is a really cool compilation. It really, is. Um, yep. of a bunch of local people and. So uh, tell us about how you kind of heard of Sandbridge music and, and uh, what inspired you to become involved with Sandbridge. 
Um, actually, our fiddle player, um, Oliver Jacobson, was one of the founding members, and like so we big guy. Okay. Yeah, so we. Yeah. Um, that's how we initially heard about it, and you know, any chance that Trish is amazing, and I've known her for a long time, and so really, any chance to just support the local community. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and when when Oliver had to had to leave. Um, Trish took over, and she's done such a great job of holding it yeah. like to to such a high standard. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a really cool, um, a really cool thing that you guys do. So yeah. thank you. Yeah, absolutely. We're honored to be part of it. Yeah, we're we're honored to be here. So what have you guys got coming up in terms of shows? Well, winter walkabout. Yes, February first. As, as we mentioned, mm -hmm. February first, which might be today. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> um, and we'll be at the Walnut Room with the full band on the 28th of February. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we've got Teresa Storch and her band opening up for us that night. It's going to be amazing. We're excited to be back in Denver. Oh, I said amazing again. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the thing. Fabulous. Um, marvelous. Marvelous. Uh, <laughs> darling. Um, so, yeah, those are kind of our two next that we're pushing really hard and um yeah contact us for tickets to the walnut room yes. we love we love hand delivering to you huh. um and uh yeah, yeah just in keep in touch with us mm -hmm. um yeah. we it's, have yeah. our website foxweathermusic.com um everything that's released is on spotify so yeah, just keep in touch. <laughs> all of our music's on all the platforms. All the platforms. So yeah. Bandcamp, Spotify, iTunes, everything. Yeah. Google Play. Um, YouTube. It's a great channel. Um, <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Well, anything else you want to share with your fans and the folks out there before we go? Um, thanks for all the support over the years. And yeah. Yeah. We love you guys. And yeah, thanks, yeah. For, thanks for listening to our music and... Yeah. We hope to continue doing it for you as long as we can. <laughs> we tune for you. We tune for you. For you. <laughs> for you. Yeah, so we'll keep doing it. Cheers. Cheers. Well, thanks so much for Thank joining you. us. Thanks for being a teacher and artist. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to catch Fox Feather live sometime soon. Check back next month for our next featured artist. And if you're interested in learning more about Soundbridge music, and becoming a part of Music for Change, check us out at soundbridgemusic.org. I think it's good. Yeah. Alright, are you ready to go? Uh, let me, yeah, let me just do a toss up. Ooh, we get a toss up. Sometimes you'd have to toss all it so it gets bigger. And you just do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put that at the end <laughs> of the video. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs>